This is the 2020 Princecraft Brio 17 Electric. Now, believe it or not, for Princecraft, this boat's been around since 2011, but recently it's becoming much more popular. Brios come in two sizes, a 15-foot version and this 17-foot version. They may be small, but remain functional with many of the features found on larger pontoons, including three lounges, plenty of storage space, and even a stowable pedestal table. Now, even though the Brio is only 17 feet long, check out the size of the forward platform. I know some bigger pontoons that don't have this much space up front. Not only does it have a forward platform, but it has an aft platform as well. So access to the water can be had from either side of the boat. This boat's powered by a Torquedo 2.0R, which is equivalent to about five horsepower. Top speed is a blistering five miles per hour. But this boat is almost dead silent. In fact, the water makes more noise than the engine. What's a little bit tricky to get used to is when you put it in reverse, there's no clunk whatsoever. You're just turning an electric motor backwards. One thing I really like about the Torquedos are their controls. They're fairly intuitive. They're going to show you battery voltage, speed over ground by GPS, which is more accurate than just prop speed, and, of course, your wattage. And this really helps control the range of the battery. And because it's calculating speed over ground by GPS, it's going to give you a fairly accurate range on how much time you've got left in the batteries. Now, the Torquedo 2.0R may only be the equivalent of five horsepower, but electric motors have a big advantage over gas. They produce maximum torque at zero RPM. So acceleration for a little five isn't all that bad. Hope you're hanging on. Now, electric motors really aren't about top speed. They're about efficiency and how quiet you can bomb around a lake. If your lake has restrictions against gasoline engines, well, you can run the 17 Brio on that lake. Now, it's also interesting that wide open, the controls will show you we're burning about 1,800 and 1,900 watts of power. And we're getting close to five miles per hour. But what's interesting is if you back off to 1,000 watts, about half the power, we're still cruising along at 4.5 miles per hour. So even with half the power applied to the motor, you're getting about 80% of the top speed. And that really increases the range. While these pontoon features are great, it is Princecraft's packaging of the electric propulsion system that is driving the most recent demand. This comes as no big surprise considering the growing popularity of electric cars. But there are challenges on the water that the land-based electrics don't have to contend with. Most notably, the power it takes to get a boat on plane. But if you're happy with cruising at displacement speeds, there are some advantages to electric propulsion on the water. If there's one thing I'd like to see in the future, be a little button or control to add wattage in 100 watt increments. Right now, we're running just under 500 watts and we're pulling three and a half miles an hour. Now, that's a quarter of the total power and about 60% of top speed. And just listen to how quiet it is. The standard Brio package with the Torquedo 2.0R provides space for two lead acid batteries and you can work with your dealer on a variety of AGM options. The battery bank on the Brio 17 Electric is lead acid. There is not a lithium option. This Brio was equipped with two extra batteries for a total of four AGMs, which we're told will provide about an hour and a half of runtime at wide open throttle or about four hours at a cruising speed of 4.4 miles an hour. If you need a little more power, the Torquedo 4.0R is also available, and it's the equivalent of 9.9 .9 horsepower. But it only gives you about one extra mile an hour and cuts your range almost in half. So the most popular model is the Torquedo 2.0R. It's the least expensive and has the best range. The solar panels are an option and not an inexpensive one at that. And if you're expecting them to keep the batteries charged while you're running the boat at speed, it's not going to happen. But if you're in a remote location and you don't have easy access to power, they could be a handy option. Sure, there are some limitations with such a restricted speed. For one, you wouldn't want to take this boat out on a large body of water, where the wind could pick up a swell large enough to challenge the torpedo to make any headway. This boat is for cruising small lakes virtually unnoticed. And I think this is just the beginning. In fact, the future is probably really, really bright for EVs. So who is this boat for? Well, it's not for someone on a large body of water, but 
If you're on a smaller lake and you want to keep a lower profile or you don't want to burn any gasoline, the little Brio Electric could be just the right pontoon for you. 